ஸ்ரீ குரு பியோன் நமஹா ஹலோ தேர் வெல்கம் டு த லாஸ்ட் செக்ஷன் ஆஃப் சிஎம்ஏ பார்ட் டூ விச் இஸ் யார் செக்ஷன் எஃப் ப்ரொஃபெஷனல் எத்திக்ஸ் ஸோ யூனோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி மோஸ்ட் இக்னோர்ட் ஏரியாஸ் ஆஃப் சிஎம்ஏ பார்ட் டூ சிலபஸ் மெனி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் டேக் திஸ் ஃபார் கிராண்டட் but remember this is for 15% score of your cma part 2 examination so do not ignore this topic i know it is very boring it is very theoretical it is uh, uh, you know what is right what is wrong what you should do what you should not do so yes it might be very preachy and very dry uh, to go through but remember 15% of your uh, score so don't take this for granted and do not ignore this topic at all so let's quickly understand the contents of this section f of your part 2 so section f has three units first one is business ethics second one is ethical considerations for management accounting and financial management professionals and the third one is ethical considerations for the overall organization so i'll keep it very short i do not want to discuss in detail about all the types of ethical uh, you know concepts and all that stuff so first we are going to have an introductory topic what are business ethics define what is business ethics then uh, different uh, moral philosophies and different different values so uh, values like fairness uh, integrity due diligence fiduciary responsibility all that stuff so what are the different moral philosophies given by different different people and uh, what are the different values that are expected to be found in a common a uh, financial professional or whatever you want to call it then what are the steps involved in taking an ethical decision so how you are going to evaluate a particular fraud or how you are going to evaluate a particular unethical situation a conundrum or we can call it as a dilemma an ethical dilemma and how you are going to come out of it and how you are going to take a decision in that area so that is your unit 1 so in unit 1 uh this uh, new topic has been added in your syllabus regarding different types of fraud in a business what are the different types of uh, fraud that can happen in your business like assets can be mis- uh, misappropriated or manipulation can be done in the financial statements there could be a theft of cash theft of inventory there could be fraud in the payroll there could be uh, you know fake payments made to fake suppliers or uh, uh, you know cash received from the customers are not recorded in the books so it is showing outstanding and uh, the cash is being stolen so all the different types of frauds that can happen in the business uh, some examples are given for you for your better understanding of the nature of the business then in the second unit we are going to talk about what are the different considerations that should be considered by management accounting and financial management professionals basically cms so what are the different types of considerations ethical considerations that you guys should consider so you have your ima statement of ethical professional practice so ima tells you that uh, you guys should have certain four uh, overarching ethical principles and four standards that should be maintained by you guys confidentiality and all that stuff so we are going to uh, understand those things so 4 plus 4 basically if you want to remember it in short four principles four standards in short then you have your fraud triangle basically uh, what are the three elements that are required to commit a fraud there should be a motive uh, you know there should be a reason to commit a fraud then there should be an opportunity see i want to do a, i mean a person wants to commit a fraud but if there is no opportunity then they cannot do a fraud simple and the third one is uh, uh attitude or uh, i would rather say justification how they can justify why they are doing a fraud like for example if you ask a thief uh why did you steal that particular money or why did you do that uh, all that stuff they'll have a justification for that they'll have a rational yeah this, that is that is the right word rational like they'll give you a reason and they believe that they are justified in committing a particular unethical uh, activity you know they'll say that uh, because of this xyz reason i am stealing money which is justified in my case you cannot say that it is wrong 
so that is called as rational so a person commits a fraud because they think they can do that because they think they should do it they have a reason to do it they find an opportunity and they think it is right thing right for them to do that they do not think that it is wrong okay and then evaluation and resolution related to the ethical issues so how do you evaluate the risk uh, ethical uh, ethical uh, issues and how are you going to find a resolution for that so remember there are no uh, theoretical questions like straightforward pros and cons advantages disadvantages or uh, assumptions or anything like that these are case studies okay in your essay questions there are very high chances i can say 70% to 80% chances that ethical scenarios are tested in your essay sections okay along with the uh, along with the essay they'll also add some ethical uh, considerations there they'll be like ceo is stealing money from the company you are the accountant of the company and he you found out that there is some money being lost so you went and complained to the ceo the ceo said that shut up and do your work record it as miscellaneous expenditure or record it as business development expenditure or something like that so this kind of scenario embedded ethical conundrums will be given to you and how you are going to handle that is required in that answer now this is at an individual level so in unit 3 we are going to talk about consideration ethical consideration for the overall organization like uh, csr activities corporate social responsibilities of the companies then uh, what are the different uh, factors that will affect the ethical culture of the organization so value and ethics from inception to practice basically lead from the top voice of the top whatever you want to call it voice from the top so uh, you know in sanskrit there is this saying that says yatha raja tatha praja how the king behaves the people of the country also behave according to the king only they'll follow the king only so if your management is uh, fraudulent then the employees are also happy to do fraud as simple as that so we are going to talk about different factors there then ethical leadership an extension of what we just discussed legal compliance you know in there are some uh, legal uh, rules and regulations that should be followed like for example uh, uh, fcpa foreign corrupt uh, practices act that prevents uh, giving any bribe to a foreign official to attract any business uh, opportunity like for example a us company is there they want to start a new branch uh, in uh, india so they cannot bribe the indian officials indian government uh, people to start their business here that is uh, prohibited by the us fcpa act and similarly in uk they have a bribery act it should be called anti bribery act but then again they call it bribery act okay that's fine then responsibility for the conduct of their business in ethical manner and sustainability like not wasting too much natural resources making sure that you are not depleting the uh, environment etc etc and social responsibility so in social responsibility again you have your uh, four levels of social responsibility economic related to the money then you have your philosophical uh, sorry philanthropic not philosophical so you have your uh, economic uh, responsibility you have your legal responsibility you have your ethical responsibility and then philanthropic responsibility so we are going to talk about those details in the regular lectures so let's not worry there okay so uh, here in this uh, unit 3 there are uh, there is a new addition to the syllabus area regarding uh, uh, what do you call it um, data ethics you know lot of companies are collecting data these days from their customers like their customer name your address your phone number your email id maybe your your credit card details are saved on the website or uh, you know your uh, educational background there are a lot of information that companies are gathering from the individuals these days so what are the kind of ethical uh, requirements on the company like can they just sell your data to somebody else can they be negligent with your data can they uh, should they have any proper security measures uh, what if it is a government related data are there any protection rules and regulations for data uh, you know ai models artificial intelligence models like chat gpt gemini uh, bard there are so many uh, what is this copilot 
so there are bing so all these are what different different artificial intelligence tools are there mid journey uh, bi etc etc so many uh, bots and artificial intelligence tools are there so all these tools are gathering a lot of data you go to chat gpt and you say that i am a cma us student i am unable to understand this topic can you please give me five examples on this topic so you just told chat gpt that you are a cma us student right and in another chat you might say that uh, i am uh, looking to purchase this particular thing so can you create a purchase order for me or else you might say that uh, please draft this email for me so it will draft an email for you you might put your content there and say that can you formalize this for a linkedin post so you are giving a lot of data to the artificial intelligence model and you are asking it to analyze your data and give you answers to that that means artificial intelligence is collecting your data so what are they doing with that data that is a very dangerous thing right so those are all related to the data ethics so that topic has been newly added from september 2024 syllabus changes onwards all right so that's my section uh, sorry that's the uh, summary of section f polit uh, professional ethics for cma part 2 so those are your uh, syllabus uh, content areas for section f i hope you got a complete clarity on uh, what you are going to learn in section f so uh, with that i'll take a leave and uh, i'll hope to see you guys soon so until the next lecture keep smiling take care bye bye see ya